subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Man, okay, so so talk to me about Devin, man, because, uh, you know, you and Devin got some records, man. Yeah, well, uh, so I met him when Devin then first came to rap a lot. When the high squad first came, we um we clicked. Like, that became kind of like my crew, you know what I'm saying? Because they kind of was more into the kind of shit, you know, that I did on just a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? I never really, you know, I didn't go hang around with Face a lot. You know, have you know, in in the later years and shit. But yeah, like so, we um I always used to kick it with them. I actually uh, when, when they was working on their, their um on the Odd Squad, I actually ended up doing the cuts on that record. Hmm. Hmm. I did that, and then <clears throat> we ended up um we ended up having studios together forever. Me and Rob and Dev always kept a studio somewhere to work at. You know what I'm saying? And, I learned a lot of shit from Rob. Rob's like another one of the first people I seen make beats. Genius, bro. bro oh, Rob was insane. Man. Like first time I I seen Rob work, um, Jug Mug had an apartment, and under the stairwell there was like you know you put like shit like the storage closet under the stairs. Like mm-hmm. Rob had the keyboard under there in the dark. You know what I'm saying? He's he's hitting the buttons. He's like, does it say this? I'm like, yeah. To say this, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how does this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He just remembers like five clicks left, up two times, over, down. This is what it says. And yeah, he knew how to work that shit. So that's a- I learned how to use ASR probably a lot from watching him. Hmm. So when so when you okay, what's the record? Cause you you do you know when Devin goes solo, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, with the dude album and all that. Like, did you produce the song to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the the dude. Um, I think me and Face did that one. I did. I, did, I feel like I got like fourteen or fifteen. It's a few joints on, on that first. Yeah, on that first one. But yeah, when we first did that, like it was it was basically like I would go pick up Dev every morning. Like that, that, that was that's another thing. Like a lot of people, they always worked at night. Everybody on rap a lot was night workers. Face Jay, everybody came out at night. You know what I'm saying? But like me and Dev, we get up early in the morning. We had kids and shit. So nine o'clock in the morning, we're taking care of the kids. I'm coming to pick Dev up. We're going to the studio. I'm like we're just in there all day, hmm. from day to night, and just every day. That's what we did until we had the record done. Hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. So man, that's that's dope as fuck. Did it trip you out? Uh, because I heard Devin didn't really want to do solo. I think I read that somewhere. Like he, I don't think he did. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's always been kind of a a, a group type of person. Like he always, you know, even mm-hmm. even. Shit, just I, I seen I went to a Dev concert out of Scout Bar, probably earlier in the year, and this is the first time I ever seen Dev on stage by himself. Hmm. Cause he always just keep everybody with him. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who was down with him, who might have a song on his record or a verse, like come on, come do it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So yeah, I don't think he really wanted to do the solo album in the beginning, but once he did, it was all it was all worth it. I think. Yeah, sure. No, for sure, for sure. Is there anything uh, that stands out from like the Devin sessions and all that? No, you couldn't really see nothing. Smoky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, Dev, Dev's hella creative, man. Like, it's funny. I was, <clears throat> I was listening to um, the interview you did with Devin here and how it started. Mm-hmm. You, he was talking. You just. You started recording some shit before the, even the intro. Like you was like mm-hmm. he's saying some shit. Start recording it, right? Yeah. So we had you, you familiar with the song Zeldar? Yeah, Zeldar. Yeah, the, the yeah. alien. That, yeah, yeah. So we um <clears throat> we go to the studio. We're at the hippie house, and I got the beat track that we're recording on D eighty eight tape. So you recorded five six minutes. That's what it is. So I, I had I was pulling the beat up playing it he was in there checking the mic and whoever was in the studio the night before they left some kind of effect on the mic so he started doing that alien shit and like he had been doing it for a while but i was like that's dope i started recording it and then like he did the whole thing and then at the end when he's like my name is zellar and the beat ended i was like dude that's it coming here get like, the fuck out of here it was an accident 
it was a total accident. And like we we basically went back. We had that, and then we had to like pull the tape back a little bit. And then he did all the welcome. You know, he did the little intro part mm -hmm. and made it. We actually timed it to right where I punched it. And then yeah, that was it. Like one. Total accident of a song. Like we, I don't even know what the other song was. We never recorded the. Other Every one. time I heard that, I was like, "Oh, Devin!" Like I just thought he intentionally mm -mm. went to make that type of record. Mm -mm. That shit was. He was just in there. Like I said, the mic had some kind of effect on him. He thought it, it sounded like it. an alien, so he just started like, "Yeah, he." I have a lot of I have a lot of songs of, of just random shit of Dev. Like Dev is funny as fuck, man. Like no, he is funny. And Dev is one funny. of the people that when I met Devin, I was like, "Nah, he's exactly who I I thought he was gonna be." Yeah, like. Exactly, yeah, he's a dude for real, like coolest dude ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, Dev is super cool, man. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Well, man, uh, shit, what else you got going on, man? Shit, man, slow boogie on my end, man. Just kicking it. You don't, you don't have any desires to like put together projects or anything like that or do man, records. Yeah, you know what? I really love to um to do another dude album. <laughs> hmm. Like the, we, we always talked about like steal that dude or some shit. I like to do another record with Dev. Like that'll be fun. Hmm. So, where I mean, where y'all at with that, man? Shit, I love to hear. Shit, I got to call him, man. See what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You produced that, uh, ain't no telling where I might be. I got places oh, yeah. to go and people to see. That's my shit. I love Banner, man. And Banner, yeah. Shout out David Banner. Banner's one person, man. I'll say this, like, I've been doing this shit a long time, man. And you, you know what I'm saying? You go through shit and sometimes you, you'll get jaded by the industry. You know what I'm saying? And he's always been one to call me, man, and be like, man, come on, give me something, like, do something, like, come on. Hmm. Like, he always, you know what I'm saying? Still keep you, keep day, you like, in the game, yeah. Yeah, like, he like, man, we need you, bro. Like, you too dope. Like, come on, fuck with me, like. That's dope as fuck, yeah, man. I, I fuck with Banner, man. I love Banner. So that, was, that wasn't a record you had for Devin. That was, <clears throat> that was strictly Banner and Devin and Bun just happened to be on that. Yeah, like, yeah. he came, well, see, this is what it was. He came in, and, um. He was like, man, he really wanted a song with Face. And I ain't never asked nobody, I ain't never asked Face to do shit ever because I, I know how he is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is the one time I was like, I, I was like man, Face Banner got a record, woo, woo, woo. Me and, me and Uncle Eddie did the beat, Face's uncle. Me and Eddie did the beat. Like, Banner, like, he want this song. So Face was like, yeah, I'll do it. So Bannon done flew out here. He got to turn the record in tonight. You know what I'm saying? He done flew out here. We done did everything we could do. We done mixed this song. The way I, we ain't, all we need is his verse. Call him face, call him face. He ain't answering the phone. I'm like, man. Like, bro, you ain't finna do me like this. <laughs> we, we went over to his house and shit. He lived off of Elders at the time. And they had like the guard gate and shit. I was like, man, call the house. And he ain't answering the phone. Call him. So... Ron, his wife answered the phone. Rhonda got on the phone. Like Rhonda, wake him up. He got <laughs> he got to do this shit. So mm. luckily, he had a dope ass studio in the crib. Mm. So he got up, motherfucking box of drawers on, and wrote that motherfucker. Laid it and went back to bed. But he wrote some shit. Mm. It's on that same album. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, that shit, about, yeah, yeah. He did a hell of a verse on that motherfucker. No shit, man. That's what's up, man. I don't know. I, look, I don't know, man. I'm thinking about this Steal the Dude album, man. I would love to hear that, man. Me too, man. I think I think the last record Dev just did, he did it with Rob. I think him and, and that Rob shit was did jamming. the whole thing. Yeah, he yeah. had some jams on that yeah. shit. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.